24 Tesla semis spotted at Giga Nevada. October 24, 2022. The first deliveries of Tesla semi are approaching and will take place in early December. 24 semis were spotted at Giga Nevada. Possibly in preparation for deliveries to customers. The Tesla semi wait was long. But it was worth it. Electric trucks are the missing piece for the industry and have the potential to change it forever. With high performance, Semi will save owners hundreds of thousands of dollars in charging and maintenance costs while reducing the carbon footprint of companies. In early October, Tesla CEO Elon Musk revealed that production of Semi had already begun. According to him, the first vehicle should be delivered to the giant, Pepsi, on December 1st. He also revealed that production would start with the 500-mile version. Immediately after this announcement, Pepsi also confirmed that it expects truck deliveries in early December. Semi is expected to be manufactured at Giga Texas. But for now, they are made at Giga Nevada. This has prompted a closer look at the location on Google Maps and at County Miami. Twitter recently noticed something interesting. In a container parking area, near a building believed to house a production line for a truck. 24 Tesla semis were spotted. Keep in mind that the date of the picture is unknown. However, this observation indicates that the company has actually started production. On the manufacturer's website, Tesla Semi is described as more powerful, more efficient and this reflects the reality as its performance is impressive. The company, as before, offers two versions with different ranges 300 miles and 500 miles. It is noteworthy that the range is indicated for trucks when fully loaded which is an extremely important indicator. The gross weight of Tesla Semi with a fully loaded trailer is 82,000 pounds. In turn, the range of an unloaded Semi is sure to be incredibly impressive. The exact battery capacity has not been disclosed, but the energy consumption per mile will be less than 2 kilowatt hour. With this figure, it can be assumed that the battery capacity will be around 600 kilowatt hour and 1,000 kilowatt hour depending on the version. With a full load, Tesla Semi will accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 20 seconds. In addition, the truck will be able to reach the speed limit on highways with a 5% grade. These characteristics are extremely important for driving on the roads, as they allow trucks to safely and quickly overtake without blocking traffic and reduce the likelihood of accidents. To make this possible, three independent motors provide instant torque and unmatched power at any speed. Semi comes standard with active safety features that pair with advanced motor and brake controls to deliver traction and stability in all conditions. A central seating position gives the driver better visibility, while an all-electric architecture reduces both rollover risk and cabin intrusion in case of an accident. One of the most notable benefits of Tesla Semi is its savings on fuel costs. The manufacturer said the electric truck is expected to save up to $200,000 over its first three years of ownership compared to a diesel competitor. Charging with electricity is approximately 2.5 times cheaper per mile than refueling with diesel. Operators can see estimated fuel savings of up to $200,000 within their first three years of ownership. With remote diagnostics, over-the-air software updates and fewer moving parts to maintain. Operators will spend less time at service centers and more time on the road. Source reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. My take may people said. It couldn't be done. Now the semi is actually here. Supercharging ratio is 750 Tesla cars per station. October 24, 2022. The Tesla supercharging network was launched in September 2012 so it is now 10 years old. A lot has changed since the first several stations were put online. According to the latest Q3 report, as of the end of September 2022, the company has installed 4,283 stations with 38,883 individual connectors stalls globally. The expansion of the network accelerated recently with 312 new stations and 2,718 stalls in Q3. But compared to the much faster growth of electric car sales, the average number of Tesla cars per station or stall continues to increase and hit record highs. While the Tesla supercharging network remains a Tesla's proprietary solution, we must remember that in Europe 14 countries, there is a non-Tesla supercharger pilot program, which means that other EVs at least CCS2 compatible also can use selected stations. Further increasing the average number of cars per station, over 750 Tesla cars per station, 
over 80 per stall, as of the end of the third quarter of 2022. Tesla's cumulative car sales exceeded 3.24 million, while the number of stations was 4,283 with 38,883 individual connectors. This means that for the first time in the company's history, the average number of Tesla cars per station exceeded 750, reaching 758. In the case of stalls, the average is also a record high at 83. That's the global average without accounting for geographical distribution, without including cars removed from the road or non-TELSA pilot programs in Europe. The trend is clear and, as we can see, both averages are more than 20% higher than a year ago which, assuming no change in the driver's driving profile, must translate into a higher number of cars using the stations. Tesla has various solutions to compensate for the higher average of cars per supercharging station, like increased charging power so the average charging time will decrease and more stalls per station, as well as variable pricing to shift charging to off-peak periods. Another thing is a CCS1 charging adapter in North America. So some customers will use a third-party fast charging network. However, only time will tell whether it will be enough to keep the customers relatively happy with the service. From the customer's perspective, everything should be okay as long not all of stalls are occupied so charging can be started immediately. Last quarters. The data indicates that Tesla thinks that it should have significantly more cars than stations and in recent quarters. The company sold almost 1,200 new EVs per one new station and almost 130 new EVs per one stall. This is also an indicator for new markets. How many cars must be sold to convince Tesla to deploy a new station in the area? In Q3 2022, Tesla's new sales divided by the number of new superchargers shows 1102 cars per station and 127 cars per stall. Source reposted and summarized from Mark Kane at Inside E. V. S. My take Tesla has by far the best charging infrastructure in the world. Tesla 2022.40.1 Software Update and Release Notes October 24, 2022 Tesla has started deploying its latest software update. Version 2022.40.1 Bringing with it several, quality of life, improvements. Here are the full release notes. Via you. Our salami sandwich sentry mode and dog mode. Your vehicle and pets can be kept safe by activating dog mode and sentry mode at the same time. Sentry mode alarms are silenced if dog mode and sentry mode are both enabled. Mobile app notifications will still be sent and video footage will still be saved. Improved charging efficiency. During DC fast charging, the thermal system controls have been optimized for each charging station's power capability. Improving both charging and on-route battery preconditioning efficiency. This results in fast charge time and reduced energy costs. Radio station logos. The media player now displays radio station logos for improved discoverability when searching for favorite stations. Drive door unlock mode. When driver door unlock mode is enabled, long pressing the interior driver door switch will unlock all doors in the trunk. To access driver door unlock mode, tap controls, lock, Driver door unlock mode. Source reposted and summarized from Drive Tesla Canada. My take I can't wait to take it out for a test spin. Tesla Gigafactory Texas paint shop is getting expanded. October 24, 2022. Tesla is now well within the fourth quarter of 2022. And the electric vehicle maker is hard at work improving its newest Gigafactory. Based on recent permits filed by the EV maker and images taken around the massive electric car factory, it appears that Tesla is upgrading the facility's paint shop, considering that Gigafactory Texas is designed to produce both the Model Y and the Cybertruck. And the fact that the all-electric pickup truck will not be using any paint due to its stainless steel exoskeleton. The new upgrade to the facility's paint shop seems to be for the all-electric crossover. With the upgrades in place, Giga Texas Model Y production should be able to improve its ramp. A permit for the expansion of Giga Texas paint shop indicates that the application for the project was listed on October 12, 2022. The description of the project indicated that the permit was for paint shop tool connections. Images taken by longtime drone operator Joe Techmeyer at Giga Texas showed that some equipment for the upgrades appears to have been delivered at the complex. Tesla has not discussed Giga Texas paint shop that much in recent months. 
though speculation suggests that it would be just as advanced as Giga Berlin's paint shop. Elon Musk has highlighted that Giga Berlin's paint shop is a next-level facility that should be able to provide Tesla's vehicles with paint options and quality that are unique to the company. With the Model Y well on its way towards becoming one of the world's best-selling cars. It is pertinent for facilities like Giga Texas, which is starting its operations with the production of the all-electric crossover. To be able to build as many vehicles as possible, an upgraded paint shop helps Tesla produce vehicles at greater volumes. But while Giga Texas is starting with the production of the Model Y the facility is also the site where Tesla will build its most insane vehicle yet. The Cybertruck All-Electric Pickup. Production of the Cybertruck is expected to begin next year. So all eyes are now on Giga Texas and when it will start receiving equipment to build the highly anticipated futuristic vehicle. Source reposted and summarized from Simon Alvarez at Tesla RT. My take Tesla Texas is ramping up very nicely.